Hello everyone, James here. Recently, me and 212 Filmmaking decided to do a collab and see who could make the better Star Wars The Mandalorian render in just three hours. It was a really hard challenge, but this video I'm going to show you the process of how I made this render and uh, I'm also going to have a Zoom meeting where me and 212 talked about each other's renders. It's going to be great. After this video, make sure to check out 212's video on how he made his render. Uh, link is in the description. The premise for this challenge was pretty simple. We have three hours, only counting time spent in Blender, to put together a render for the challenge. It had to be Mandalorian themed and render time did not count. I knew from the get-go that three hours wasn't a lot of time, but I've been doing Blender for a couple years, so how hard could it be? The first step was for me to figure out what I wanted to create, usually by sketching. I had just watched the Mandalorian Season 3 finale, and I thought jetpack troopers were really cool, so I wanted to include those. I also needed to include the Mandalorian. Finding models for these two was tricky, but I found a decent model for the jetpack troopers, auto rigged did a Mixamo, and also found a cracked Fortnite model of the Mandalorian, which I would have to settle on, uh, also rigged a Mixamo. This is the only good free model of Mando on Sketchfab, so funnily enough, 212 ended up using it too in his render. The layout of the scene used a corridor model for the Death Star, and while it would have been cool to model it off of Gideon's Mandalore base from the finale, I simply did not have time and I didn't think of it. Now once I had the animation set up using the free mocap data from Mixamo, I soon realized that the textures for the jetpack trooper were not working at all. And for whatever reason, and scold me in the comments if you want to, but I had no idea why they wouldn't work, but they didn't. After this, I had a small existential crisis, and I took a very long walk to nowhere. Then I, being the idiot that I am, touched each vertex individually for like 30 minutes without realizing I didn't know how to apply this textured model to the animation skeleton that I had an untextured model. Soon after, I gave up and was left with this sad-looking Stormtrooper variant. The Mando model was not very high poly, but the shininess hid some of that, and the animations were unfinished on both ends, but because of the rush, no tweaking could be done anyways. So now that I have my character set up in the hallway, they're fighting but not shooting any lasers. To create blaster bolts, I didn't set up any fancy emitter, I just keyframed a few glowing cylinders and in the compositing tab made sure to include a glare node to get that nice glow effect. There were a lot of things wrong with this render, even for a 3 hour challenge that if I hadn't wasted so much time on that stupid texturing, I would have had far more time to refine. To name a few, there was a large amount of noise on the floor, primarily due to the samples being set to 200. I actually originally made and rendered this shot on my RTX 3070 Ti, but re-rendered it on my new 4080, and I went from taking one hour to render down to like 20 minutes. There was also the fact that the Stormtrooper in the back was shooting repeatedly even though only two bullets come out. Uh, if I could fix this, I'd probably have him keep shooting and just have a crap ton of sparks everywhere, but oh uh, well. Also kinda wished I fixed Mando's helmet maybe by just getting a cleaner model and parenting it to the bone, but... That wasn't high priority from the start, and it just wasn't a great model or a great system of rigging to begin with. On a more positive note, I do like the reflections and the lighting of the shot a lot. The reflections on the armor of the troopers and as well as on Mando's helmet do really set the mood well. The lasers are also really well done, and the shot wasn't supposed to originally have camera shake. But I guess something wasn't selected right when I hit rendered, and it just wasn't there. I have no idea why. Now, once I had finished this shot, me and 212 eventually got into a Zoom call and were able to discuss each other's renders and what we wish we had done differently. Environment in yours, man. I still can't. Like, I really wish I had done them because the Moff Gideon's face is so, uh, no, like, so I recognizable. Needed, I needed like a good 20 minutes more because my animation was like that. That was the big thing for me because I was right there. I felt like you rendered an Eevee. Eevee, yeah. It looks good for Eevee, honestly, the reflections on the troopers, because I know you did that one video on how to render an Eevee, and it looks like it paid off, because in the trooper on the back, the highlights on him, it looks so good, like the lighting placing that you must have done, like. So, so what I do is all all the parts where you see like the emission, and I saw it when you did the thing where you like redid your, remodeled your short film, maybe? Right. Yeah, something like that, where you like added lights to all of them. But yeah, I, wherever there's an emission texture, I add lights. So that's probably part of it. And then the screen space reflections. Okay, yeah. Another thing that I liked was the all the sparks and stuff. Like the, yeah. what is that, a system probably? Part, simple particle system. Uh, I've, I've been messing with particle systems for a while. I was going to uh, have a one scene in a commission for uh, a commission I did where I used a particle system. And kind of like on Coruscant, where you have all those speeders going by, I kind of had like a particle system mapped out where it would emit different ships from a collection. So I've been messing with particle systems for a while. Like what happens next on your channel? Uh, if you're, I don't know if you're gonna make another short film or go back to Younglings. The plan is probably just Younglings three, because I mean, I don't, I do other stuff too. Obviously, this time of year, the reason I kind of dropped the videos for a moment was it's just so busy. I mean, Dude, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 so I'll probably, you know, end up going back and doing Younglings again, I'd imagine. Uh, just because we, we, a lot of my friend group does it, and it's just fun. Goof yeah, it's awesome. Fun. Yeah, so. man. It's been great. It's been awesome. I, I got I got to do more stuff like this. I've been talking to uh, a yeah. few other people in, like, the VFX community and, you know, talking about collabs and stuff. But it's so fun to just 
find other people who are interested in the same stuff as you. So uh, yeah, I've, I've had a good time doing it. So yeah, it was awesome. If you haven't already, check out my Instagram, edge.vfx. Uh, I post a ton of stuff there on my story. Keep everyone up to date. Post uh, every single time I release a video so you'll never miss one. Link in the description. Anyways, I'm busy with a short film. I'll give you all updates on that as soon as I can. But until then, I'll see you next time. Show us. Just show us. Stop playing around.